but I'm not seeing the option to move in. Like, what is that? Guys, what is that? So they can woohoo and they can try for a baby. But I can't, I can't ask him to move in. Like, what? Um... and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel for those of you guys who might be new my name is culture sims and today we're going to be playing let's play the sims 4 generations part one i know guys i almost said sims free play because it's just so surreal that i'm finally getting to film the sims 4 generations um i've been wanting to do this since i got my gaming computer in january and I honestly have just not had the time to because a lot of you guys don't know, I started working part-time again. Um, I had a year off that I didn't work. I was just doing YouTube and it was amazing and it still is amazing. Um, but I wanted to have a little bit of extra money to put towards savings because everything that I was getting on YouTube, you know, I was either putting back into my house or I was putting into my computer or my filming setup or something and it just... I didn't like not having as much money as I know I could have, so I went and picked up a part-time job. A lot of drama, guys. A lot of drama. A lot of things have happened. If you guys want to know how my work life is going, let me know down in the comments, because that's a whole topic that I could get into and spill tea. But, um, I have just been working so much lately because we've been losing a lot of people, so they've been needing coverage. And I just don't know how to say no. Basically, that's how it goes. Um, so I am finally just now getting around to making my Sims the way I want them. So a little bit about how this um, generation series is going to go. I was going to do a fixer upper series, but a lot of you guys said that you would rather have a generation series. So what I did was I made my Sim self, which is her right here. This is my Sim self. Um, I'm actually very very concerned on how well she came out because she she looks very 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 similar to me um and like personality wise is on point clothing styles is on point um i also created my boyfriend who you guys will see in the series as well my real-time boyfriend he's in the game i'm also creating a couple of my um, very good friends in real life. I'm going to put them in the game as well. So they're going to be in here and we're all going to get to know them as their sim self as well. Um, one of them is actually a YouTuber. So if you guys want to know more about that, I will leave her link down in the description and you guys can check her out when she comes into the series. Also, um, we are going to be working on my sim and my sim boyfriend. Um, I had recently played a little bit off camera to get them together and to get their needs and everything up a little bit to get them going before I started the series so it wasn't so hard. Um, but yeah, so uh, I don't really know where to go. Let's just go ahead and start getting into the game because we're almost four minutes in. But basically what I did was I, I kind of got them together because I was a dingle hopper and I did not make them together um, because then I could have just, you know, made them in a relationship. Yeah, that didn't work. Um, so, uh, oh, my baby's crying. So I had to kind of play and get them together, which was a little frustrating because our personalities don't clash. And if you guys play The Sims uh, PC versions, you know, personality is everything. So, what I'm going to have my sim- well, I guess she's just going to hop into bed and do it herself. Okay. Um, so, a little bit about my puppy here. This is King. He is actually um, my parents' dog, but he's like my baby because, you know, we had him before I moved out of my parents' place, so he's technically my dog. Um, so, I made him in-game as well. We're not really sure what breed he is. He's like a Doberman um, Rottweiler mix. Something like that. We adopted him from the dog pound when he was just a baby. So we're not really sure what he is, but he's our baby. So I made him in game. I do have to fix him though, because I accidentally made him female in the game and he's actually a male. So I will have to go in and cheat that, but I forgot to do it before I started playing because I was just so, so excited. Um, so this is my boyfriend right here. His name is actually David, but he didn't want his full whole name in the game um, for everybody to see. 
So he just went by Crazy Dave Weston. Weston is not his last name. Um, he is a young adult. He is an engineer. He's a genius. And then you guys will have to find out his other traits. Um, so the relationships. We are sweethearts. The foundation of a strong friendship has forged lasting love. And he is my boyfriend. Exclusively a relationship. So that is my boyfriend. This is pretty close to him too. Like his hair, his beard, his style is all the same. His face is a little bit off, but not by that that much. Um, and then as you guys can see here, we've met a couple of people, but we're not friends with them because I didn't want to go too far into the series without you guys. Um, so we are going to skip on past and King has been getting very good at sleeping on the couch. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, in real life, he does have his own couch, so I can't be mad at him. <laughs> we are going to go to work today, but I really do need to have her come and eat some breakfast. So we're going to have a quick meal. I have been giving her yogurt the couple of times I've been making her eat, so I think I'm going to make her just come and get some applesauce. Um, she's going to eat that, and then we're going to take a thoughtful shower before work. We should have enough time. This is the house that I just put her in. It's nothing special. Um, the only thing I did add to this house was this right here, the computer, the table, and the chairs. All of this is CC except the computer. Um, I did, however, add in this tub. I changed the pattern of this. I did put this dog thing in here. Um, and I did put these two chairs in here. Other than that, everything was already in the house. Oh, and I put this dog bowl here too. Um, everything else was already here. Um, and I kind of just moved her in randomly because like I said in the beginning, I do have a plan for her and David. I want them to move into a fixer upper house, which you guys will see either at the very end of this part or the next part. Um, also, if you guys are excited about this series and you guys would like to make requests on what happened, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe, like, turn on the notification bell, all that great stuff, because I do want to start pumping out a lot of these videos because a lot of you guys have requested them. Also, something you guys should know, this is like my real life. Like, my good friends are going to be in here, my boyfriend is obviously in here, my sim is late for work, which is not accurate. I am never late for work. I will go ahead and throw that out there. I am a good person. <laughs> um, but this is supposed to be very close. I'll pick that up when I get home. I think I have bills as well. Yes. Um, I want to try and make this as close as possible to my real life. Now, granted, there are going to be a few things that are different. Um, like, I mean generations obviously you have to have children you have to get married you have to do that kind of thing me and my boyfriend do not have children we are not married we have been together almost two years it'll be two years this april 27th so i mean a lot of it's going to be true to its nature but a lot of it is not as well um so she is home from work we're gonna we're gonna throw this away um because nothing like a flaming hot dog pile of crap um, so, I was actually trying to show my boyfriend this because he was home last night with me. He's at work right now. I was trying to show my boyfriend how King poops and how it looks. I could not for the life of me get him to go to the bathroom so that I could show him. He just kept peeing, which looked just like water puddles. Um, and yeah, of course, now that he's not here and he's gone, he wants to go to the bathroom and it's like, oh yeah, it's, it's no big deal. <laughs> um, I should have took a picture of it so that I could have showed him, but I'll probably just show him the video of this anyway. Because uh, he thinks it's hilarious that I'm making us in a Sims Generation series. Uh, he actually was helping me customize his Sim when I was making him. And I thought that was really nice of him because he's not a Simmer at all. He loves games. He is a total nerd. Um, but he's not like a, a Sims fan like at all. He doesn't like EA or Maxis. Don't hate him in the comments, please. Um, <laughs> but he actually had fun um, helping me make his Sim and everything. And... I showed him my sim, and he told me how crazy it is that my sim looks so much like me, and I was like, yeah, I know, right? So, she's just going to play her game on her non-accurate of mine computer. If you guys want to know my setup, I will put a video up soon if it's not out already. If it is, it'll be in the description. Um, but I did film my gaming setup for you guys, because also a lot of you guys have been asking about that. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a brisk shower. It's only four, so I'm going to see if David wants to go out and grab some lunch. Um, and then I may ask him to move in with me so that I can start working on his career a little bit uh, so that we can move into our new uh, fixer-upper home 
and uh, be able to have some simoleons to work on that because I, this house is pretty messed up. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's overgrown. It's taken by weeds. It's looking raunchy. But I think it's going to be a great challenge. So we are going to travel um, with David Weston or Crazy Dave. I'm just going to call him David. He knows I'm going to call him David. Um, <laughs> so Crazy Dave will see you there. Where should we go, guys? Like, should we go to a nightclub? I mean, see, the thing about him, he's very, very much an introvert. He's not a very talkative kind of person. He doesn't really like being in large groups of people, grocery shopping. He just wants to go in, get out, you know, that kind of thing. And I was very much like that until I started working. Um, so we kind of made his sim that way. So I don't really want to go out and be in just like a really really large crowd of people so I might just go to a cafe we can get some grub or something and then we can just like kind of head on home maybe because I I don't really know where I should go I we're definitely not going to the library that's like uh, -uh. um if I go to the library it's going to be for like a personal reason um or just to look because I've I've never played this world before until I added my sims into this particular world, which I forget the name of this world, actually. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Um, I'll have to look it up before we leave. Um, it's like the German world, if you guys know the name of this before I happen to put it in the comments or something. Let me know down in the comments what it is, because I forget. Oh, hey, there's a computer here. Nice. Um, that's probably where David's gonna go. Also... Are all of these lights on? Like, they are. Oh my god. Okay. So, there's nothing that I hate more. I swear to you, there's nothing I hate more than having a place... Did I sell something I wasn't supposed to? Okay. Um, there's nothing more that I hate than having a community lot like this that is so dark. Especially, it's a cafe. Right? So it should be very light and bright. There should be, like, no excuses at all. Um, so I'm going to take a couple of these bad boys. Um, try and get them, like, as close as possible to each other. Because, oh, my OCD would act up so bad if I did not. Um, let's get this here. I think that's, I think that's pretty good. Um. I don't know why all of these lights, it still is like, why, hello, it still doesn't look like any of these lights are on, like why, why is this place so dark, I don't understand, I don't like it, I don't like it at all actually, guys, okay, so apparently my sims are gonna get some food, which, I mean, I didn't choose, those kind of look like cannolis, that is exactly what that is. It's a cannoli. Um, okay, and apparently my sim just went for like a scone. Who are you? Okay. Oh, also, I think something that would be pretty cool if you guys have actually made it this far into the series. If you are a subscriber or just, you know, like a fan of mine, I'd, I'd hope you'd be a subscriber. Um, if you guys would like me to make you in my sims game so that you guys can be in here as well, uh, then let me know and uh, send me a picture on Instagram and I will try and make you guys to the best of my ability. You know, tell me if you are like a, a teen, an adult, you know, whatever, so that I can make this accurate, your traits, what you would like your traits to be, that kind of thing. And I can uh, try and make you into my game. I think that'd be pretty fun. Oh, okay. Um, so apparently she's just gonna crash, like, our date, so we're just gonna, um, oh, we're gonna invite him to stay the night, and then we're just gonna probably leave. <laughs> um, are they picking at each other? Guys, be nice. Like, be nice to each other. Um, okay, so, are you staying the night or not? I, I didn't... We could try for a baby in a bush. Oh, guys. Misharibo. Guys. <laughs> We're gonna try for a baby in a bush. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I think... Yeah, okay. So they are going to go ahead and... Um, say the night. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have them leave. Because I just... I don't like this lot at all. I will have to go in afterwards and completely remodel that lot. 
uh, because the light situation is just bugging me. If you guys know why it does that, let me know in the comments because I cannot stand it. It it irks me so much. David, where are you? Where are you? You're supposed to be here. Invite to hang out and then I guess we'll um, have him stay the night again. <laughs> oh, here he is. Okay. Okay, invite to stay the night. Quick, I want you to stay with me. <laughs> totally not gonna jump you the first night. Okay, okay. Um, okay, so, you know what? Like I was saying, I, I played a pretty good, not like a lot, but just enough to get them in a romantic situation. Um, so I kind of had them woohoo a few times to completely fill up their bar. If <laughs> you guys are wondering, that's why their romantic bar is completely full and then their normal bar is just like, eh, yeah, I'm, I'm here, but, um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and see if I can't move them in together, um, so that I can get them going. We can try for a baby, but I'm not seeing the option to move in. Like, what is that? Guys, what is that? So they can woohoo and they can try for a baby. But I can't I can't ask him to move in. Like what? Um guys, it's kinda weird. Okay, maybe if I give him the resonance key first, maybe that'll help the situation. Um Okay, can I ask you to move in now? Like give you a pep talk? I don't wanna give you a pep talk. Would it not be in romantic? Would it be in friendly? Okay, ask to join the household. He's like, oh yeah, sure, okay, quickly. Um, so we are moving in together. Click okay to go to split from household and move to modify which sims will live in your household. So we are going to move him on over. He only had a little bit of simoleons. Like I said, I didn't play really with him at all. Um, they are in Windenburg. They're in Windenburg. So I didn't play it with them really at all. Um, if you guys, you know, oh, okay, so their money already transferred over. So we're good now. Um, so I'm going to show you their cast really quickly. Um, and then we are probably going to end this part off here. Like I said, if you guys are going to enjoy this um, series, let me know down in the comments by subscribing, liking, telling me that you want something to happen like if you guys want to do the same as my sims free play generation series which is coming up soon i'm still working on it um then let me know because i would really like to have things that you guys would like to see in this series as well as what i already have planned for it so i'm gonna go ahead and go into cast um so that you guys can see how they look so i'm just gonna say modify and cast and then you know we're gonna go about and show you the outfits, the traits, things like that. <laughs> okay, so if you guys have not seen my video, I did make my sim self into a video. Um, but just going over, she wants to be a master chef um, with essence of flavor. She is a foodie. She is a geek because I'm very... See, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a geek. I'm more a nerd than a geek. There is a difference. Um, and I am a romantic. But these are my outfits. This is my everyday, which I might switch it up. I don't really know. This is typically what I wear on an everyday basis. I usually have on some form of Batman shirt. I do have a Batman tattoo. I really need to see if I can find a Batman tattoo to put on my sim, but I kind of gave up looking because I couldn't find one that I actually liked. Um, I, I wear leggings practically 24-7, and then I do have these exact boots. So this is typically what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. This is also something I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis if I'm not wearing like leggings and this type of look right here. Um, so I just put that as my formal because I don't wear dresses, and I don't wear bathing suits and things like that, but yeah. I'm, I'm a little self-conscious about my weight. Like, this is pretty accurate for how I look. I just feel like I look chunkier um so you know I, I frown upon myself wearing dresses and things like that like this i probably wouldn't wear this crop shirt i would feel too self-conscious about my belly but i really really like to this outfit this is actually calvin klein right here um got some basic running sneaks like i said if you guys watched my video of me creating myself then you would know um this video already but the, this is actually something I would wear. I have shoes very similar to this. I do have shorts very similar to this. And I do have a shirt kind of similar to this. Um, so this is typically what I would wear to bed. Sometimes minus the shoes, depending on how cold the floor is. 
Um, and then this is my party outfit. Like I said, I don't wear dresses, but if I found this in a store, I'm not going to lie, I probably would buy it. How much I would wear it out in public, I don't know, but I would definitely wear it in the house. Also, these boots are to die for. I love them. I love them so much. Um, and then this. I would never, ever, 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 ever wear this unless I lost some weight or something. I just couldn't make myself get into a bathing suit, high-waisted or not. But I really liked this outfit on her, especially with her curves. I think it looks really good with the flip-flops and stuff. So I did give her this outfit. She's rocking it. I don't think I would. Um, again, this is for, like, hot weather. This is my, um hot weather outfit. Very accurate. I would wear this. I would also wear the heels. Now see, I don't mind wearing high heels. I like wearing heels. I just don't wear them very often. I'm more of a Ugg or flats kind of girl, but I do have several pairs of heels. Also, this is something I would wear in a heartbeat. I, I really want this sweater, actually. And then, this is CC stuff, by the way, except the boots. I don't think the boots are. Um, but the leggings and the sweaters and, like, mostly all the other clothes, probably, except the shoes are. Um, but these are like Nike leggings and it just says just do it. I really like this outfit a lot. Again, we have these boots that zip up from the back right there. Moving on over to David. This is David. This is actually so weird because I was playing my game last night, like I was saying, and he was um, watching me make them woohoo because he was kind of curious about how that whole thing works. <laughs> and he was like, you just made them and you're gonna go ahead and make them woohoo like is he gonna like that I'll say yeah he's gonna like that trust me because he doesn't understand that you can go from total strangers to married children dead within like a couple of hours of playing you know he doesn't get that so um, I actually had them woohoo to get their bar all the way up but he noticed what I had put him in because like I said I wanted to make this as accurate as possible so I actually gave him work boots and he actually does wear work boots all the time like I don't I don't personally think I could but he does he rocks it um he always wears blue jeans he has like multiple of the same kind of blue jeans so I put him in blue jeans which his blue jeans look exactly like this which is why I gave him this he always wears a plain shirt it's either gray he has a couple of purple so ones but you know He's a very basic man, you know, so he wears this and he got home from work yesterday and he was watching me play. He was like wearing this exact outfit and he said, baby, why does my sim look exactly like me? I mean, like, I know it's supposed to be me, but it's creepy that you were able to make him exactly like me. I'm wearing the exact same shirt he's wearing right now. And I was like, oh snap, that's kind of weird because... He does like switch his shirts up and everything, but he was wearing this exact shirt at the exact moment that he was watching me make our sims woo. <laughs> so he thought that was kind of weird, which I was like, yes, yes, accurate. Okay, I'm going to calm down a little bit because he he makes me so happy. So when I talk about him, I get, I, I get very excited. Um, okay, but like hair length, everything like that, that's the same. So this is his everyday. It's pretty good. I like it. It's... David. It's it's what I look at every day. Uh, also, this shirt right here is also an accurate representation of the shirt. Uh, like I said, he wears pretty basic shirts. Um, same outfit practically every day. This, he would never wear this. He would never, ever, ever, ever wear this. Um, but I have to go and get more CC for him, so I kind of had to stick him in a couple of outfits until I could get, like, the right CC. So this will change, but this is what he's wearing right now for athletic wear. Um, this is very accurate. He does have, like, these, I swear to God. They're, like, the exact same shorts. He wears these to bed. Um, and then this, he... He would wear these, because these are the same pants and shoes from the first two outfits. This sweater, I highly doubt he would wear, but like I said, I stuck him in a couple of things because he needs more CC for him. Um, also, for swimwear, this is pretty accurate. Like, I could see him wearing that if he went swimming, which we've been together almost two years and we've never been swimming together. But maybe one day that'll change. I don't know. Um, yeah, he wouldn't wear this either. He might... No, he doesn't even have any um, tank top shirts like this. Um, so he, he wouldn't wear this at all. He might wear the sneakers, but the actual outfit itself, I don't think he would wear that. Um, also, this he wouldn't wear, this shirt. But I think he looks really good in this shirt. Let me know what you guys think. 
Um, also, same pants and boots. Uh, I think that's a good, a good outfit. Um, his traits, he is, um, a nature person. He really likes, I don't know why he chose this one, but he did. I'll have to ask him why he chose that one, because he chose all of these. Like, I didn't. He chose these. Um, and then he wants to be, like, a collector. He is genius. He is a music lover, and he is a goofball. All of these are true. He is extremely smart. He's currently um, doing college classes for mechanical engineering, um, so he's very, very smart. He really does love music. We listen to music all the time, and he plays the piano that we have here in the house uh. all the time, because um, he knows I love it. He always plays Pirates of the Caribbean for me, because he knows that's my all-time favorite. And then he is a goofball. I swear to God, he is always cracking a joke or showing me memes or something. He is so goofy, it's crazy. Um, so this is my boyfriend. And then we're going to move on to King. Um, this is my boy. This is my baby boy. I love him so, so much. Um, so he is a Doberman Pinscher in game. He's playful, he is smart, he is loyal. Um, I need to see if I can go in and change that. I know that I can do it, but I have to do like BB like testing cheats true or something. So I'll do that off camera. I'll make sure I do that. But this is King. Like I said, he's supposed to be a boy, but he's a girl. So we'll kind of ignore that for the moment. But this is my baby boy. I love him so much. Um, and he just takes after my last name. If you guys were wondering, my actual name is LaShawn McLover. That is me. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, make sure and give it a big fat thumbs up. Let me know what you guys would like to see next episode down in the comments. Also, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And I cannot wait to see you all in part two of Generations. Let me know what you guys would also like to see for the Sims Free Play Generation series. And then we can finish off season one and we can go on to season two because I'm excited about that as well. Um, also, someone told me I should totally make my um, Sims Free Play Generations family in The Sims 4. If that's something that you guys would like to see, let me know down in the comments and I can totally do that. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and end this part off here so that it's not too, too long. And I cannot wait to see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.